Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to share a book with you. It's called Portraits. This is a cool book because it's interactive and it shows lots of different portraits by different artists and it is considered a discovery art book. A portrait is an image of a person made by an artist. This portrait is of a king made of a bunch of stained glass, which forms a window in a church. Shine a flashlight behind the window and you'll see the colors reflected into the church. Most artists wouldn't use fruit and vegetables to make a portrait. But the painter Giuseppe Archimbaldo did. Rembrandt etched his own portrait into the other side of this copper plate. Lift this plate to see the picture. The print of the portrait into the paper is called an engraving. This is a self-portrait of Rembrandt. And this is the printing plate. A portrait can also be made from clay or stone. Let's see what the artist Henri Dubert sculpted. He made this funny sculpture of a politician in 1831. What is this strange scene by Salvador Dali? It is a portrait of an actress named Mae West. He used paint and collage to create this picture. Why is this old broom in a book about art? It is also a portrait by Gaston Tuzek. So artists can paint on anything. Why do thousands of people visit the Louvre Museum in Paris each year? to see the famous smile of the Mona Lisa. Let's visit the gallery of famous portraits. This is a painting by Jean de Buffet. Do you see anything funny about some of the visitors in the gallery? This is by Jean Moreau. This is by Chase Pot, and this is by Paul Clay. This is called American Gothic by Grant Wood. And this is by Rolando. Look closely at all these details from the portraits you have seen in this book. Can you figure out which works of art they belong to? Now, why not make a portrait of someone you know or a self-portrait? I hope you enjoyed this book and it gave you some inspiration for your art.